when is the right time to have a publicist? Yes, and that's a great question. For us, we have worked so tirelessly with the, these new green talent uh -huh. because there's so much work to be done. Right. They don't realize that um, you don't have to have that big booking to have, have a publicist and be able to start. and welcome to Kelly, where we talk about life, your life, my life, and through Kelly, we hope to inspire. I have Amanda Abelita on the show today and Kelly Burns. They are publicists, so we're going to talk about what a publicist does for you and how a publicist can help your career. So you guys work a lot with actors. We've had a lot of your actors on the yes. show. Yeah, we love working with publicists because we know that we're getting a good clientele that has, you know, they, they want to be there and... Um, and, and thank you, thank you, thank you. So explain, well, first let's say, let's talk about uh, your relationship, how you guys uh, partnered together and started working together. <laughs> um, well, I started in PR and marketing um, about, it's probably been almost 20 years. Um, but when I moved to Atlanta about seven years ago, I, um, started working with a entertainment publicist named uh, Michelle Sisko. Okay. Uh, who worked with Irony Singleton from Walking Dead, worked on Vampire Diaries, and she also wrote um, a newsletter for parents um, in the community. And I was hired on to be a writer um, for her and attended events and helped her um, basically with anything that she needed. So that's how I switched over into the entertainment publicist side okay. of PR and marketing. Um, and Kelly and I met through, well, both of our kids are with East Coast Talent, uh -huh. um, and they were at an acting class um, and bonded very quickly and realized very. we had so many things in common. Wow, it's actually, look at that. It's a little That's weird. That's how you met. Wow. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little weird uh -huh. how similar we are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Our husbands are similar. Uh -huh. I mean, it's everything is similar. And you have the um, same eye color. People, People think we're related. Sisters. <laughs> I think they ask all the time. I have to look and so see. It's a great compliment. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. For you. So you guys, and then, and then you guys saw that there was a need. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. And I knew and that totally. there was, yeah. you know, uh, when I was working before. And I knew Kelly worked uh, for Delta in corporate marketing. Mm -hmm. um, and... I saw that there was a need with, for my own kids right. um, and, and finding them ways to um, create relationships with people right. in the community, uh -huh. in the acting community, and foster those uh, relationships and, and be able to network, yeah. even at a young age and starting out in their career. Right. Um, and Kelly um, was getting ready to have a career change, and I said, you know what, I, she would be an amazing uh, partner in crime um, to have Abelita Burns PR with. And right. you can tell them about Delta and what you did. So I left Delta almost a year ago, the okay. end of March last year. Um, okay. To We started Abelita Burns prior to that, okay. but we wanted to focus 100% on that, so I right. left Delta. You took the leap. I took, yes, yeah. yes, which people say, are you crazy? Yeah. Maybe a little, A little. You maybe a little be. bit, you but you know, be. it's been worth it. Yeah. It's been 100% worth it. But at Delta, I worked on a lot of campaigns with Pop Sugar, the Grammys, Braves, Falcons, et cetera. So that prepared me for it, uh -huh. and I, I love it. Like, yeah. I do not regret it. I missed the flight privileges, uh -huh. but that's about, I mean, that's about it. You're, glad, you're, glad, you're glad that you took the leap. Absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. So what does a publicist do? Um, we're really, in, in the simplest form, um, the liaison for the actor between them and any source of media, whether right. it's print, um, radio, news, highlights. And do you even help them to, to tell them, you know, about their social media, how important that yes. is, absolutely. and the the image that they're painting of themselves. Absolutely, because absolutely. a lot of people, um, we do have some established actors that are already doing the red carpets mm -hmm. and premieres, but we do have a lot of clients that are new and green to uh -huh. the, to the right. um, industry. Um, but there's, and people are like, when is the right time to have a publicist? Yes, and that's a great question. For us, we have worked so tirelessly with the, these new green talent uh -huh. because there's so much work to be done. Right. They don't realize that um, you don't have to have that big booking to have, have a publicist and be able to start in on that branding and marketing. A lot of people don't have social media and the ones right. that do are putting out the wrong right. image and the wrong content. So we really, really look at the, their accounts um, and 
plan a strategic plan that's going to make sense for them, work with their agents and managers to make sure that we, you know, are branding them correctly. Because um, especially with the adult actors, a lot of times they're like, you know, I I only get this type of role or Mm -hmm. that type of role. Mm -hmm. So we work on, on that with them. But um, on on making them more diverse or figuring out what their wheelhouse is and marketing them towards that. Absolutely. Yeah. And getting them a lot of times it's even just they need a, they need a quick photo shoot like they're getting a lot of lawyer but they're wanting to do more mom roles or they're a cop and they want to yeah. do something else. So one thing that we're focused on right now in the acting class is finding I mean we've always been f- focused on finding out what your wheelhouse is, what right. is your natural, mm-hmm. what you're going to be cast on. Right. Mm-hmm. Um but we're also um, focused on like picking three areas that you're going to be, get cast, whether it be the right. mom, the lawyer, the this, right. and just nailing it and getting Absolutely. so good at it. But also making your headshots that, that's match important. that mm-hmm. look. Absolutely. If you don't have a headshot that says mom, right? You know, yeah. If I'm I'm trying to be sexy, right? right. But I'm the one thing that be. I that I learned. From Liam taking um, Brian Beagle's class for uh-huh. kids, Liam's which your child. my son, yes, yes. and He's Brian Beagle's class is outstanding, uh-huh. by the way. Uh-huh. But is the the headshot needs to you need to look at it and say, is this person going to be the bully uh-huh. or yeah. be the one getting bullied? Right. You're not sure. Right. That one headshot reads so many different ways, yes. and I don't think new actors realize that. Well, and so we help them. Yeah, with that. yeah, yeah. And a lot of times new actors don't have the ability. Right. Um, like we have a lady that does a lot of our headshots and she always says, you know, she can tell when the actors are green. Right. And then when they get a little experience and they come back in, it's a whole different photo shoot. But still that first one is so important. So important. even even if they, they mess it up mm-hmm. because um, it gives them the experience and, and they're going to be more comfortable the next time they go in. Absolutely. Correct. And we work a lot too. So the, the talent that is booking, those are obviously the ones that are super, super fun to work with. So we're helping to get um, gowns and tuxes comped. We're helping talk yeah. to production wow. about getting flights and hotels. We're doing red carpet training. Right. We're doing media training because right. a prepared actor is you know, going to be gold. Um, for future press opportunities if they're able to conduct themselves professionally. Right. We can use those outlets to spread around because if it's a bomb interview, then we can't really, you know, do anything with it. Exactly. Um, So those are the ones that are super exciting to work with. I agree. Um, But it's also really neat to watch and help develop these new talent in Atlanta um, with everything that is filming right now. Mm -hmm. And you just see more and more of these actors, adults and children that are getting not just the day player roles, but the co-starring mm-hmm. roles and lead, yeah, roles, lead roles that are beating yeah. out. Yeah, yeah know, we had some really good LA. bookings last year mm-hmm. and even being a slow year. So yeah. let's talk about um, what what do you do for an actor when it's a slow year? Mm-hmm. You, We teach our clients, uh-huh. if you're slow and you're not auditioning a lot and you're not booking a lot, focus on your craft. Right. Improving your craft. Yes, absolutely. Take as many acting classes as you can. Learn a different dialect. You right. know, teach yourself. Grow in those areas. If you're, I mean, because when you're slow, there's other people that are slow too. Mm-hmm. It's not mm-hmm. just you. Right. You know, and so last year was a slow time uh-huh. for the entire industry across the board. So it, we try to boost the morale of our clients because it it can bring you down. This absolutely. industry is hard. Yeah. And it can beat you down if you let it. Yeah, and so yeah, yeah. Um, And so we do a lot of fun things like doing the photo shoots um, for actors, um, getting them on set so that they have some of those opportunities. And it's not always the no's. We're giving them a yes by coming and doing things. And we work on the relationship part of public relations, where they're getting to be around their peers, um, because that's just as important. The relationships and the networking and meeting people, because You know, especially if we bring in a casting director, a producer, and they notice that, you know, this kid is super talented and professional, um, then that is an opportunity for them to get, you know, picked up on the next project. Absolutely. So the relationship part for actors, new and established, is something that we really strive to help them learn 
you know, those networking skills. Yeah. And being mm -hmm. on a set is being on a set. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, they grow no matter no matter the S, no matter the size of the set mm -hmm. or the caliber of mm -hmm. the production, mm -hmm. it helps. Yeah. And so this past year we did um, some photo shoots like Stranger Things uh -huh. uh, themed, and we actually went to where they filmed the school scenes, which was really cool. Uh -huh. That was one of my favorites, I think. Neat. Yeah, and we yeah. did the demise of Toys R Us, which was really cool. The kids were zombies. <laughs> oh, that that's so neat. cool. Yeah. So we that's have some really fun. great things coming up. And it's year. fun owning your own business, as I do know, because you get to make the decisions on what you know you can be as creative as you as you want to right. within the elements of what you're trying to accomplish so um this is for you guys oh i didn't stack you. it full because i know we're all after the holidays um, trying to uh do something good for our bodies we have, oh, a, gift we have a gift for you, for you. we uh invested into a company meet me on peach tree oh um, nice and there are 71 streets in atlanta with the name peach tree in them right. so that is a shirt to kind of um it's a brand show your atlanta pride it's yeah. a brand that was started in the 80s yeah really and, yeah and the son of um the couple who started it is revamping it yeah. and boosting it and bringing it back so nice. it's really exciting and we're really excited to be a part of it so. wonderful thank yeah. you so much yeah. I, I i love all the um i've gotten a lot of t-shirts and stuff i wear mm -hmm. them all the time this feels so good so tell the company thank you too. Uh, yeah, of course. Um, if you have some advice to give to um, an, an actor, what what would it be as far as their their branding and their mm -hmm. social media and what they are putting out? Social media, she's the guru. <laughs> I, will, I will defer to that to her. I will say um, for new and established actors, but especially new, it's so important to look at your social media and look at the message that you're sending out um, to your current fans, potential fans, and make sure that your messaging is concise and appropriate to what you want to do in your career. Um, and we're always here to help um, with questions. Well, but, there's so many people, but, I'm going to piggyback on that. There's yeah. so many people that will friend quest me or, you know, that is a lot of times your social media is your first image mm -hmm. of somebody. So if I go on their social media and they're smoking it out or, or whatever, immediately right. that tells me that's not somebody that I want to right. work with Absolutely. because you, you know, you want their image to be what you want to. Yeah. It's a free yeah. commercial. And, and so some productions to, will go to the the talents, yeah. Instagram and social media pages, and look before booking. Oh, absolutely. Anybody that comes on the show, I look at their absolutely. social media. Yeah, so it's very important right. these days. It used to not be, now it is. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much. And um, if people want to get in touch with you or find out more about your company, where, how do they find out more about it? We have you? a website, uh -huh. abelitaburnspr.com, uh, Instagram, Facebook. Yeah. Okay. We're all on social media. Thank you You're so welcome. much for thank being Thank you so much here. for having us. You're thank welcome. You. Guys, we hope this segment educated and inspired you.